Welcome back guys, it's time for another manga volume review and this is going to be a good one. Thank you so much for Yem Press for providing uh, the, this volume for me to review, the first volume of King of Eden. Um, the volume itself is pretty big. Uh, if you were to compare it to regular manga, you would definitely think that this was a omnibus and not a volume one. Now, what's the difference? Omnibus usually are thicker like this. They're pretty big and they typically have two or three volumes in just one. Um, this is actually just one volume. Volume one. It's just big. Now, I do want to uh, clarify from the beginning. This is not technically manga, but it's um, manhwa. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Uh, which is the equivalence of manga in Korea. So it, it is Korean, uh, but it is being um, translated and produced here for us by Yem Press. So I'm going to include it in the manga because that is just the purpose of why it was written. It's it's mimicking manga of, of Japan. So anyways, um, King of Eden, genre-wise, for those who are looking for genre-wise, this is going to be definitely a suspense, horror. Um, I, there is gore, but it, not the entire thing is gore. So, But there is gore. Um, I, I want to say historical as well. Uh, there is a big emphasis in history in this uh, story, which I actually enjoyed. Uh, and then action, for, for sure action. So uh, those are all the genres that I would place on this one. Um, maybe uh, Shonen, which is kind of like Shonen, but it's for adults. Uh, it's definitely more for an adult um, reader as well as... Thriller, mystery, you know, th throw all those genres in there. That's basically what this is all about. So, um, if that's something that you guys like, then definitely continue watching this review because this is going to be a, a good one. Now, before I continue, a few things. If you have not done so by now, go check out Yen Press. Uh, I have placed a link where you guys can get this um manhwa or manga uh online and uh, they have different sites of where you guys can buy it uh i have another link down there below where you guys can probably find it which is through right stuff and buy it through them they always have specials they always treat you right there so uh make sure you check them out also guys if you haven't done so by now subscribe to my channel we're trying to reach uh 4k before the year is over it would be an awesome christmas present so if, if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel uh, and lastly guys go check out more volume reviews i have quite a bit of them that i've released here in my channel so go 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 give some love to those uh volume reviews as well as chapter reviews i've i reviewed some chapter reviews as well as well here okay uh let's start with the review first of all um it it kind of gave me zombie vibe from the beginning but it's not it's a whole different thing um, there is some type of virus that they're investigating and trying to figure out how it all works. And we kind of figure out how it all works throughout the first volume and, 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 I'll, and I'll explain right now in a bit, but essentially there is this virus that was found in, in, um, in a tomb that was found years ago, not, not too long ago, but years ago. And essentially this, uh, investigation or this cave, um, that people were investigating caved in and all the, all the archeologists essentially died for just an exception of a handful. Um, one of these archeologists that survived Tez, uh, he is basically our, mystery protagonist I, I i'm gonna put him like that in the volume uh he shows up essentially in the small towns that are being tested on with the virus and essentially finishes the job up um so throughout the the volume we find out that there is organizations different organizations but Overall, there's one big one at the end of, of the volume, but different ones throughout the world in China, in 
Uh, I think in Ireland, there, there was a city. Places like that, they essentially are testing this virus that's being sold in the black market. Um, and they're basically wanting to use it to take over their countries. Uh, get rid of the higher-ups that are up there that are in their eyes abusing their people some people are using it because they want to get rid of a whole uh group of people so essentially genocide uh because they've come in and taken over their country and essentially they don't like them so um a lot of uh i guess you can say racism as well as um how you see how the world works how you know the bottom people always always feel pressed by the people that are on top and uh that is kind of like melted in throughout the entire volume and you're, you're seeing how why people see the world that way and that's you know anywhere you go even in the u.s the the lower class will feel oppressed even if there is benefits upon benefits about benefits that they, that they they can receive and they do receive there'll be people still saying well we're in the dump because of x and y so you see that in the in the volume which is beautifully done uh throughout the volume so second part of the story is essentially the government or um really organizations around the world uh like who h uh who uh and other organizations like in europe and america essentially joining together and trying to figure out who is distributing this virus because obviously someone is distributing the virus to these different little organizations uh so they're trying to kill it from the root um and from that group they basically recruit this girl called rua and she essentially is investigating kind of what happened what's going on how the virus works and stuff like that and the virus essentially how it works is they get one host and this one host it gets infected and i believe they say it takes about three hours for them to actually fully uh transform uh, and they transform into basically a wolf man uh kind of like a werewolf and this person then goes out and starts biting people and this is where I th where, why, why I thought it was zombies because at the beginning you see them biting each other so they're like okay this is a zombie thing but it's not uh, it's a werewolf biting these people and essentially while they're transforming they're going out as well and biting other people and essentially the virus if it's not controlled everyone in there uh, kills themselves and there's only one left at the end of the day um, this is when Tez comes in and kills the last one the last lone survivor and then burns the entire village down that's that's basically what he does uh, throughout the volume and she she figures out basically who he is she also figures out uh, basic how how the virus works and then she also goes through a lot of historical records and connecting how this all happened from the past and essentially we get a lot of persian empire and romanian um history and this takes us back 2500 uh thousand well not not, not 2500 thousand 2500 years ago which is 500 bc and essentially uh the persian what what they're saying the persian empire grew so big that they actually reached romania and this romanian uh country basically went into battle with the persian group defending their land and uh, from there there was you know tombs that were built essentially for generals and other people and we meet one of the generals we um throughout the the volume tease is looking for what they call the king wolf who is the one in control of all the werewolves if they can be controlled and he finds uh up here which a uh, is this general dude and essentially he is uh part of the past he's actually from 500 bc according to what they say uh but uh overall it's a good 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 manga i don't want to give too much information the last three chapters maybe four chapters were pretty intense it was a battle between 
uh, the Russian mafia and this up up here guy, and then also these scientists and archaeologists that are trying to figure out the truth. So it's kind of a a, a royal rumble that goes on, and then Tez also comes in there. So uh, it's a pretty pretty good ending to the volume. I couldn't put it down once i reached the halfway point and everything came together and i actually understood what's going on i just couldn't i i, I couldn't put it down last night and it was it, it was it was great so um if you're looking for this again you, can, you guys can find it through yen press uh also write stuff there there's links down there below for you guys to check it out it is a great volume like i said um i will say this is cyanine in the sense of it's for a mature reader um, it doesn't give you any etchy scenes. It's not about that. It's not about attracting the youth, uh, reader, you know, the, the younger reader. So if you're looking for stuff like that, this is not for you. Uh, it, it is cyanide in the sense of it, it, it's definitely a mature story of this is the plot and we're going to build from here and we're not going to use cheap tricks to attract you to it other than giving you a good story and that's what i like about this story uh i hope i can get my hands to, on the second volume uh for you guys and i'll review it for you guys as well so make sure you keep on watching thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't done so check out other volume reviews here in my channel thank you for your love and support subscribe comment like share do all that stuff and guys like always don't be strangers see you guys